It's the year of living dangerously. I'm 16 and trying to lose my virginity quickly to somebody with soft hands. Eager to let go of makeshift piety, I'm looking for psalms and slow dances. Tell my nerve endings to be patient. Mark my calendar to watch for the subterranean dance of bloodletting and brown skin bending willfully under cotton sheets, hoping this boy has not grown his bones into tools for bludgeoning the few bits of girlishness left in me that have not forgotten what tenderness can feel like in the inevitable cruelty that is adolescence. I'm stargazing. There's an unfamiliar tremor in my hip. My navel is man-made lake. What it cannot hold runs over collects beneath me. I'm glad for the distraction. My hymen applauds the first consensual contact she has ever known. She will begin the arduous ritual of disremembering the one who came before. I'm stargazing. He's smiling in my ear. I can hear those pretty white teeth. He did not know redemption could quiver so pink. I didn't know. Redemption could quiver so pink. It's dawn now. And there are a thousand poems waiting in the space between my cheek and his collarbone. I'll write them down later. They're mine for the rest of my life. The soft refrains of forgiveness that chase the memories of a pedophile to dust. Come back, moon. You and I share the same story. Glory be to the girl who goes back for her body. He will sleep through my epiphanies and hallelujahs. I will forgive that. Unaccustomed to bones being so loose, my knees are waiting for instructions. They have not been told to fight back or fend off. I stroke them into silence, tell them they're relieved of that duty. This boy is different. A day walker who laughs in his sleep. My forehead is red from his kiss. Only molested children love so well or forget so quickly. He's dreaming now. Left hand pinning me against him safe. He does not know how often I bled in the arms of another. How the scratch and pull of the word no kept daylight from coming. Too short a word for some to hear. It moves through the mouth too quickly to be considered. But I have not uttered that with him. I'm stargazing. I'm going to watch him sleep to the sound of yesterday dying in the bend of his elbow. When he wakes, he will catch me staring. I am a star gazing. Yeah.